In 2006, an eminent, eminent cardiologist, Dr. Chauncey Crandall, prayed for a patient who had died of a heart attack in the ER. That man came back to life. The story of Jeff Markin rising from the dead went viral. But it's only one of many miracles that Dr. Crandall has witnessed. Take a look at this. Leading cardiologist Dr. Chauncey Crandall has seen the dead come back to life. He's also seen incredible healings in third world countries and in operating rooms. It took years for this Yale-trained doctor to believe in heaven. But now Dr. Crandall is convinced there is life after death. In his book, Touching Heaven, Dr. Crandall makes a compelling case for his belief in a world beyond the physical and how science and eternity intersect in the form of miracles every day. Well, it's a pleasure to welcome back to the 700 Club a dear, dear friend and a member of the Board of Trustees of Regent University, Dr. Chauncey Crandall. Chauncey, it's good to see you, my friend. Blessings. Hey, listen, you're a cardiologist, so you're dealing with life and death all the time. People die of heart attacks, of mm. failure, congestive heart failure, et cetera. What are people like when they get close to death? Well, Pat, you know, there are, many are frightened, the ones that don't have a relationship with mm -hmm. God, and some are at peace. You know, there's a contrast, oh, yeah. light and darkness, uh, death and life. And uh, it's amazing that there is a pattern as we go through life. In my career of over 30 years in medicine, mm -hmm. I've seen a pattern yeah. of people that have died and have come back to life and they report seeing heaven. How many have you seen? Well, I can't, you know, dozens and dozens. dozens. What do they say? Well, the, the main thing is that the people that are believers in Christ, they, they go to a place of peace. Yeah. They call it paradise, uh -huh. where the streets are lined uh, with gold. Uh, the flowers are brilliant in color, colors that they can't even describe. Mm -hmm. They see their loved ones, that they have bodies like we do and that there is total peace. They're, they're in fellowship with God. Everything is perfect, that there is no sin, and it's a place of great peace that they don't want to leave. They don't want to leave. They don't want to come back. They don't then. want to come back. No, I wouldn't want to come back. <laughs> yeah. but, well, uh, do they know people prayed for them back here? And well, back. they do. Some have even had out-of-body experiences. In fact, right here at the Medical College of Virginia, mm -hmm. uh, the first case that I can remember is a, a Vietnam veteran that had died on the operating room table. We couldn't revive him, uh, and it took about 30 minutes to get him back to life. Mm -hmm. But during those 30 minutes, he actually left his body, yeah. was over the body in the operating room, and could give in a full account of what was happening in the operating room, outside the operating room. So he's room. unconscious, he's dead, and yet he's telling you everything you yes, did. Yes. He saw all that. It was amazing. And mm -hmm. in fact, after that event, I was walking down the hallway of the hospital mm -hmm. ward. He came running out of the room. He was a big, burly man from the Vietnam War. He picked me up by my hospital jacket, yeah. held me up in the air, and he said, why did you bring me back? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> How dare you? Yes. How dare you take me out of heaven? Right. He was in total peace. How about the ones who went someplace else? You got something to do with sinners well, who went to hell. You know, uh, people that do not have a relationship with the Lord, yeah. there is another place. It's called hell. It's a place of agony. It's a place of defeat. It's a place of total darkness. And that patient, Jeff Markin, went to hell. What do they say when they get, get back? I mean, you bring them back to life. They want to know God. They want a way out. They never want to return. It was a place of total torment and agony and pain. And uh, uh, you can see them uh, even after they experience that, the fear that is on them after they go to a place like that. Right, well, let's talk about that one, that, that signal one where you had that guy die and you felt your hands were over him and the power of God came on you and you touched him. What to tell us about that one? Well, that was Jeff Markin that was and Markin. that was uh, uh, some years ago, but it was a day that I didn't feel very godly mm -hmm. and I walked into the emergency room. There was a cardiac arrest and uh, they had been working on this man for 40 minutes and uh, uh, we finished uh, uh, the code. We pronounced him dead. He was on his way to the morgue. I left the room. Wait, wait, you're taking him to the morgue. I mean, well, he the was code. being prepared he, for the morgue. Yeah, he, I, 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 but you, you, you call the code. He's dead. And he's on, 
His, he's I'm destined to the morgue. Okay, yes. go ahead. And um, we, uh, 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 I, I finished my notes and I left the room and I heard the voice of God. Mm -hmm. But I didn't recognize it as God because the request was turn around and pray for that dead man. And I thought to myself, Lord, I can't pray for that dead man. He's gone. I don't know what to pray. I've never prayed for someone well, like that. They would that. think you, uh, absolutely you're a man of science, a distinguished man of medicine. You can't go do that. Well, I have greater boldness now to but do it. But you didn't then. I, not then. And what happened was I ignored that request from the Lord, and I continued to walk down the hall, and the voice came back a second time turn around and pray for that man. Mm -hmm. So I walked back to the emergency room. Mm -hmm. I stood over the body. I held my hands over him and I prayed. And the Holy Spirit gave me these words. Father God, I cry out for this man's soul. Mm -hmm. If he does not know you as Lord and Savior, raise him from the dead now in the name of Jesus. Whew. And when that happened, yeah. my arm went up in the air, almost like I was praising God. Mm -hmm. The emergency room doctor walked in. I said, shock him one more time. We had a dispute. He said, he's dead. He can't do that. But he did. And that man's heartbeat came back. What did the nurse think? She was watching this stuff, right? She screamed. She screamed? She screamed. Right. And she was upset with me because why would you do this? This man will be brain dead. There's mm -hmm. no life in him. And we took that man to the intensive care unit. Three days later, he woke up. He had an account of being in hell. Whew. And I prayed with him that day. He accepted Christ as Lord and Savior. And now he's walking as a fine you, Christian you're man. You're head of cardiology and you come in the emergency room doctor. You overrode him. You have the power to do that. I mean, the authority. Yes. And, and, and you just said, shock him again. Shock him again. It was, it was words from God. Shock him again. Shock him again. Mm. And life came into him. And that man has radically changed, Pat. Well, you've radically changed, too. Well, I have changed, <laughs> right. Because I've been with you. Yeah, that's what did. <laughs> right. Chauncey, this book, Heaven, uh, Touching Heaven, your books have, have been bestsellers. And this is one more. Uh, how many uh, examples in here? You've got a number of people who've come back from the dead. Many, many examples of healings, many examples of people that have seen heaven. Yeah. And then the third part, Pat, is that you and I, as believers in Christ, have the ability to call heaven down now, mm -hmm. the kingdom of God down now. Right. We don't have to wait till we get to paradise. As Christian believers, we can call the kingdom down and do the work now. Well, this man is out doing it, and he's a dear friend of ours, and I want you to know, folks, get this book, Touching Heaven, because we need our faith built up. As some of you say, well, is it real? Is it real? Is God real? Is heaven real? Is hell real? Is the Bible real? You know, you have those things that go through your mind, even if you're a Christian. This book will get you. Where, where do they get it? Uh, they can get this, uh, you know, at Amazon, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, any book, Wherever bookstore they sell will have it.